Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video we are heading for west of the Shannon Stonewall country out for the Galway Roscommon border Father Phil is just getting the low loader ready there to meet, for me to get loaded put out that riggers pull timbers on I got one pipe to lift in this yard where we were transferring tanks across uh, we we'll have to get the agitator moved out to where we're going as well to agitate the tanks I get myself lined up, I get this pipe rolled up out of this yard ready to go now so we get this loaded up I'll put away the camera so I can concentrate on what I'm doing because this is a big wide machine to get up on this Without riggers, but it's not too bad now. Right, one strap across the wheel, one to the front link rail. Same on the other side. <coughs> Father Phil wants me to leave on my flashing beacons, it also has the wider side markings. Now we are here, so Father Phil's not too far ahead of me so I think he only has one strap off. So I gotta find somewhere to park this out of the way. We get that tractor off the low loader and into them gates there. That's her off. Father Phil never made the turn in, so he's gonna go up uh, up the road finding somewhere to turn and gonna get this in through the gates and then get the agitator off the road. As you can see, there's nothing to spare to get in there. I just pull this on out wait till Father Phil gets in. You see what the story is. So you're probably wondering about the agitator. How do we normally get the agitator around or agitate tanks in front of us? Most of the tanks that we tend to do, especially early on, uh, many of the dairy farmers either agitate themselves or they, they generally agitate for us. We just pull in and start pumping. Some of the jobs we do need to bring the agitator with us. And this is one of those jobs. And when we do need the agitator, Normally we get Liv, we get Bro, we get someone to move the agitator for us, we get Robert to do agitating, we get we generally get someone. And, uh, oh. So the agitator's in taking over to let the gas out of the ship before we get ripping at it. Anyways. It is the next day. I know kind of cut from uh, starting to agitate to the next day. I know there's a lot of to and fro and to get the pump up, but we got it up in the end. And um, yeah, so Father Phil is agitating the way there. So it could be an hour or more before we get pumping. Yes, it is a bit of a late start. It's bright. Um, cattle went to the factory this morning and it was a late er pickup time. Uh, so it meant that we didn't get started so we 
well, I wouldn't say lost out, but we're, we're about two hours behind when we normally like to start, so yeah, it still drives about, but anyways, one thing now, I'm only after thinking of when I got into the tractor, I have to set up the base station to work my auto steer, so set up the base station now, the base station is to work the auto steer and the RTK on the tractor, so I have my tripod, and if you're wondering, we're setting this up in front of the Jeep, so I have power to run the base station, my base station, Screw in my aerial. I get my power cable and fire them onto the battery. So that is the base station. That's what does my auto steer to get me my signal. And it's going to start rebooting itself. I may have to change channels, but we'll kind of talk about the signal and that later on and dark. Just getting the first light pipe laid off out of the yard now. And where we're going is near enough as far as we can go with the pipe we have and it's uphill so it's a tough pump but what we haven't done before yes we will yeah on and out the deal. so i just wanted to take a second here while i was laying out across this pass you may be wondering why is this like it's a high high bit of a pass there's a good four foot there at height and this, that pass is put in so you, they could get through the turlock to the upper field. The turlock, you can see the body of water out there, that's the turlock. But, just to show how dry and how little rain we've had this winter, that turlock would usually be completely covering all the land down there, all the land here. Last year when we were here, this pass was underwater by about four or six inches of water. So you can imagine how deep. Like that's four foot so you're you're talking like in places there six foot deep of water all them walls the trees they the, the walls will be fully submerged in water that's how dry the thing is that's how little rainfall we've had for those of you that don't know a turlock is irish for a vanishing lake i know i've said it lots of times in videos but it's a lake it's there in the winter and it's usually gone in the summer anyways still have another lot of piping to go down That's us, ready to go. Now, we have our pipes <coughs> all out. Got out my arms, ground, open up this one, switch them over, that's that. We can turn it on my auto steer. Right, radio into Father Phil, so you can hear me. Are you there? I'm ready to go now, light me up. Okay, up there, I just have to hook up the pump there. I'm in tank number five, I just hit the air now at the minute. Okay, that sound. Oh, Father Phil is getting ready there. So, I need to connect to my RTK base station. Connect, if it doesn't connect, I'll have to get Father Phil to change it. Oh, we're connected. So now we are ready to go. <laughs> Happy days. Just on the auto steer, so I know it wasn't working for a while there. It took, it took a fair bit of setting up. The installation, dead straightforward. Couldn't have been any easier. Getting it working was another thing. Was updates, patchworks, we tried network RTK, didn't, couldn't, couldn't get to work. So then <coughs> Timmy, Timmy O'Brien from Egmont Agri, insert a clip here of him dropping down the base station. So now we're here with Timmy from Egmont Agri, yeah. and you're after bringing up us a FJ Dynamics base station to try and help us get sorted with our auto steering kit. Yes, well as long as helping you we'll be helping ourselves as well yeah because last year we brought in an fj dynamics auto steer kit we had similar problems to what you have getting it going now this base station here today is a 5k one with the aerial here out of it also you can take that aerial from there and put it onto extensions and that will give you a good range of the 5k this one is a 35k range one then now at the moment i'm hoping that phil will get this going and the very best to look tim timmy gave me a lend of his base station to get me up and running and i also got some help from elliot from erh services uh limited in the uk so the mainland uk he looks after fj dynamics in the uk and he gave me some help as well trying to work out the niggly bits 
as the system is very new on the mark especially in this neck of the woods you could say and there's a bit of sort now but we got going we got it working the last three jobs i've done so just while i'm waiting for father phil i'll get myself set up here so i go task so you can see the last job i've done marks the mohan on the map and everything so you want to create a new one so just pop in all my information now so that's new farm and that's where i am at the minute and then i go next task create a task enter a name it uh, doesn't really seem to matter then none of that the task stuff seems to matter much all that does is it it creates a task and then it allows you to um count your hours and your operating area boundary no boundaries so boundaries if i was to drive around the field and map the field but i haven't tried that yet because of the the way slurry is kind of done i haven't done that here you're only kind of wasting time driving around the field you map the field as you spread it so no boundary but the guidance line no guidance line because i'll put it in now press play i hit start so then i hit record and then when i get going so you can mark a boundary you can mark a pivot mark a curved line so if you had a curve in a field or followed the first hedge you can curve it works works actually done it two or three times works quite well so it does very very dandy but straight line is probably where you get the most juice out of it and it makes everything nice and straight look good in the drone footage so now i hit straight line and i'm ready to mark a point a and a point b and once you mark your point a and point b then that maps out your lines across the field you're basically ready to go so anyways we just have to wait for father phil now to light me up and now we are spreading away so it is it is quite thick there's there's two things again me at the minute is we're spreading on a beef farm so the slurry is always that thicker end that's why i said we may have to put water in and i'm uphill and a long way away from the pump pump is way off over that way so there are two things that are going to beat me now so i have to be careful that my pressure doesn't get too bad because the size of the field that i am in a big field that i don't twist my pipe into a knot behind me and also now i want to mark my a b line to make sure i get this mapped out nice and straight and get nice straight lines and we got a chopping and changing the master air trying to keep all my droppers working but we'll manage it, it's nothing we've done, haven't done before. The one thing while I am so close to a wall while I'm working, that is the iconic feature of this countryside, bit of countryside, is that stone walls. And it's just, it's a testament to the generations gone by that built them walls. And they're what, I'm nearly sure the right phrase is dry stone walls. There is no cement or mortar. They are quite literally stones stacked up and gathered on top of each other it's a credit to the men that built them and the men that maintained them to see them because it, it's just an iconic feature of this countryside it is one of the highlights of the slurry spreading season for me and so anyways i'm gonna have to keep just chopping and changing this macerator just to keep these droppers working we'll keep motoring away uh my a b line i'll show you that i'll show you the dog who's there when i get it going so we're putting this out at about 3,000 gallons to the acre. Uh, keep an eye on my pressure. If the pressure goes up or goes down, I'll have to speed up, slow down. What I'll do now is I'm going to hit my B line. Because I'm basically straight. it let this do its thing, so I have to save it. I just, whatever. And, uh, not too bad now. So, also if you're wondering CB, yes, we did get it working. Uh, after the first job or second job, I run into a, well I say I run into a tree, I drove under a low tree and it hit the aerial and it done something and I started working. But now, this is the fun bit. So, you can see my auto steer and once I get it fairly well lined up, I hit start and it should line itself up. Now one of the things I have found, if you're too far off, it'll go side to side to side to side to side and it won't get itself lined up. So. It, the faster you go the harder it is to get it done but anyways what you can see there so you can see blue line means i done it manually black gray line means it was done in the auto steel. and you can see recording the heck there's my speed that's really it up and down the field another thing i can do when i get to the headlands because i've no headlands marked i can mark point one and point two at either end it'll give me an order it'll beep at me to tell me i'm coming to the headland so i don't forget that i'm coming to a headland Turn it, that's one thing, you have to turn it on the headlands 
what you do is when you come to the headland you hit pause you swing around you line it up you hit continue and then it squares itself up like i said but you have to be careful that it doesn't start waving down the field which it can do Just turn on the lights there, just finishing up the field as you can see there. So just a bit more bottom of the field and probably ring father failed him to blow out. We'll roll up the pipes and that's gonna be it for today. Not a great day's work. Late start always seems to be the killer. Bit of issue with the pipe in the field that wasn't just kept twisting. But um yeah, a little bit annoying, but how and ever, hopefully tomorrow we'll get a better run at it. But anyways. We'll finish this up and we'll gather up the pipes and be ready to hit the next two fields in the morning. Yeah. So it's the next morning and um this was we're maybe half an hour later than where we'd want to be and we're just an hour. An hour. And we are stuck in traffic in Athlone. And away she goes. 28,000 hours and still on the button. So, as you can probably tell, bit of rainfall last night, nothing, nothing major, nothing that's gonna spoil the day's activities. Um, and there could be a bit of drizzle as we go throughout today, so yeah. Nothing, nothing major, nothing that's going to put us off. So, we'll hook up these two ends of the pipe. And we'll roll and drag the pipe back in and through the yard. It's the quickest way of doing it, and also because of how the pipe is kind of weaved around the yard and past the stone wall, trying to roll it and pull it, pull out twists and pressure points on it, and it's just easier not to have to roll it up through the yard because it just a bit of minding in it. So, anyways, we reroute this pipe on out to the next field. So. That's the first 400 meters down into the field. This is the field we're spreading. Anyways, we get these pipes put together. we're spreading away I have my RTK set up guidance line put in so should be doesn't seem too bad there now so as you can tell I've said it before this field has its few knobbly bits of hills so it's going to be interesting to see how the RTK works there is terrain compensation on it so we'll see how that goes on it but one of the other things I have to be wary of is 
our mass tech system dribble bar is one of the older models and the arms are dead dead straight out so when you're doing hills they have a tendency of striking the ground the newer ones are twisted up and have longer droppers at the end to avoid that but i have to keep an eye on that now i well, want other things as well my pressure is much better so my evenness of spread should be much better because we are closer to the pump and run pretty much level with the pump it's I again much more pressure so I shouldn't have as much issues with the droppers block and that's purely not enough pressure and the side just takes the easiest route but with the better pressure it shouldn't be an issue so it should so we're about half the field done now there's lovely lovely straight lines there I had to manually do up there because of that bit of a hill in it there Dahu steer it's great it's giving me precision now where look at you'd always overlap a bit and it also I have my two hands free reply to messages when I was flying the drone there earlier it's so much easier I can concentrate you're still watching what you're doing but you're just you know you're going right it's not like you've seen in some of the drone footage I would have done in the past where you'd be this way that way and you, you, you'd see it in, in the lines of the field it just gives me that bit more precision but the one thing it can't do for me is avoid the wet spot which could be in the middle of the field here now so just on the side of, of the hill here pipe is that side of me you can see on the screen you can see it's shown itself as being twisted with the arse down hill if you know what i mean if you look the, where the purple line is in relation to the tractor and it's keeping itself pretty much bang on what is it seven six centimeters offline is what it's telling itself it's off just starting to come into the short ground but Liv is just after ringing me there. The pigs, two of the pigs are in their first heat, which means that they're coming close now to going in, that we'll be able to put them in pig. So you don't put them in the first heat, Liv says it can be a false heat. So it's the second or third heat is when you try. So that's exciting now that we're like, at the end of the month now, we could be putting the first pig, the first guilt into pig. Very exciting as well, the things I'm most excited for this year is when we have the first piglets born on the farm. The first piglets born on the farm in nearly 40 years. So it's 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 going to be exciting and one of the things I'm really excited for. That is this field done. Blew out. But because I put too much pipe down the far side of the far pole. I'm not able to just drag it out into the next field without putting maybe too much of a pull on that pole and trying to get clipped by it. Never the best idea. Never broke an ESP, ESP pole and I don't want to try it. So the easiest thing for me to do is to take this off, put back on that pipe, roll it up, like pull that pipe back down the field and then go out. Uh, just to be sure to be sure. Get so that's all done windows a lot cleaner now so father phil's got the call light me up so we're ready to go don't have enough piping to do all the field field has to be done in two so we do this half then we stretch it out that way and then we do the other half of the field up and down that way because the road as i said before it goes kind of in a in a circle around so it's a bit of a shape field and i'm going to try and make a line that'll be in line with that hedge if i can because i'm in the middle of the field and because there's no straight line that way will be odd so i think that's my best plan
It's hard for me to let go But I think that I'm finally feeling good again So hard cause I loved you But I'm finally feeling like myself All of the wounds that were opened by you are now closing I finally know how to live without hurting myself I think that I am moving on cause I do feel less broken I needed a sign, this is a sign that I'm healing I'm finally healing from you So, we are well on at the field now, and I actually think I have enough piping. I would normally always break it in two, and I've all my blue piping down, and I always thought I had to put black piping down. Maybe I still have to, I don't know, there's still a bit more to go to get to the very far corner. We're spreading away. Oh, his deer is doing a treat, no hands. Ah, oh, it's a dream. Anyways, keep spreading away. One thing, the one thing that I'm having a little bit of issue with, and you will see in the drone footage is I keep having to change my macerator every couple of minutes give it a couple of jolts and then put it back in uh, just to try and keep it coming out relatively even it just seems to keep blocking different ports on it so it is it's a little bit annoying but then it's just like I suppose it's the kind of slurry it's beef slurry but it is it's not coming out too bad so it's not but it's just to keep some of them, you can see one there starting to drop back a bit. So yeah, it's just keeping on top of that now. But anyways, flying, absolutely flying away here. Touch wood stays that way and we will keep motoring on and get this field done. And that is the field done. That pipe was long enough. <laughs> I'm very surprised. Not too bad a spread now. Alright, he's on the blow there. They come out a bit in light, but... Not too bad. A good spread on it. Lovely, lovely straight lines. Everything is just lovely and straight. Oh, it's dear. Beautiful job. So, anyways, we get the pipe blown out. We have to roll up, and then we're going across the road. But we're going across the road under a gully, so we'll have to pull the pipe through and whatnot, and get out there. We'll probably end up finishing the day out there. It's just coming towards three o'clock. So that field, once we've that field done, that that that'll be it. Happy days. We get blue blow, blown out and rolled up. So that's the pipe rearranged back over to a gully under the road there. A lot of pipe in that side, a lot of piping. So let's go around now to the other side, hook it up to the pipe, pull it through, roll it off, and we're ready to go again in the next field. And now we're in the next field, a field I haven't spread before, but my father did spread many years a year ago, my uncle. So you can't really see him there, but he's on the road there. It hit me up in the walkie talkie or the CB when I start to pull it out as I have so much pipe on the other side. It's going to go a fair journey. But we'll see now how much. I may not have to put down any pipe and may have to put down a fair bit. Might get away with what's on the back. We'll just have to see. But big field and fair out little knobbly bits of hills in it. So it's going to be interesting. But, anyways. Nearly there now. Nearly there to the water. That's us pulled in, so now we get this pipe down, figure out what's our best plan of attack. Probably start on top of the hill, or the bit of a hill that it is. So it's always best to have your pipe up the hill than down the hill, because if it's down the hill, not only are you trying to work the tractor up the hill, you're trying to work pipe up the hill. And working pipe up the hill can be quite hard. Anyways, we got this pipe out, and we'll see how we are fixed. And now, pipe is off. Put up my arms. Just about ready to go now. On the other side of that Ivanobili hill. It's I'll show you later on when I got up on top, but there's two sides. So I laid the pipe this side, the hill goes up and back down, and now I'm the other side. I also laid off the Zoe pipe I had, it was a black one, and uh, it's it's a long, it's one of the long black pipes and it's kinda too long, but there's a, a bit of an elbow above uh, the house and 
I was going to have to put down piping if I put down a short one to get that and I may be able to get it now without too much issues, fingers crossed, hopefully. So, we set up no guidance line to get ready. You can see, you can see the spreading I've done. That field, missed the wet spot, that field, and the wet spot there. Pretty cool when you can see that. Pretty cool. Anyways, no guidance line set up, so we'll set our line based on that pass there because it seems pretty straight. And we'll spread the field on that, and hopefully, I'll have no issues with the hill or this black pipe. This is the pipe that's giving me trouble yesterday, twisting. We get pumping, we get piping, and we get this field done. So, we are on the hill, hill is level. I suppose that's level, straight. So, yeah, it's a fair bit of a slope. The auto steer is running. 40 centimeters offline, but it doesn't seem too bad. It seems to be lining up all right. Um, but yeah, that's this side of the hill, but the pipe is the wrong side of me, so it is going to. You can see in the, in the picture there, so it's pulling me down the hill, but that's that's always going to be the way of pulling the pipe. Come up and come back down to match up with that spreading, so I have everything in my nice, neat auto steered lines. So, if you thought the other side was hilly. Oh, we were about that. Yeah, I think because that's the tractor. You can see the tree line in front of me. Also, I do need a new wiper, and it has just started to rain. We're tipping away nicely. Just had to take it out of auto steer there because it done a bit too much wobbling for my liking. Yeah, that's one of the things with these wide wheels is I have a great center of gravity. I have a nice low center of gravity, so I'm not too afraid of hills whereas you know you probably wouldn't chance that with a tanker but the chance with this all right nice wide wheels nice wide center of gravity now back uh it's gonna take me off and do a, a detour we get lined up again pressure is seems to be up and down at the minute so i'd say we're coming near the end of the tank so yeah pressure is pressure is a bit in tough at the minute now it's still chopping and changing and just about getting enough out but yeah that's that's just down to i'd say the tank's coming near the end of it now but it's time for a few lights to come on this is that one that one i think that'll do me for the time being but well, just got a phone call from Father Phil. This is the tank is starting to run a bit low. About another half an hour pumping, so I just picked it up the gear. Just empty this field and empty the tank on the field and get the field done. That is the goal, that's the aim of the game. The bet for pressure as that tank gets slower, the stuff gets that little bit thicker and it's just not coming out as well as it like. But what can you do? Anyways, better turn off my auto steer and get myself turned around. So that is Field finished, pipe blew out. Bit of a shower at the minute. Field is done. So now it's just my straightening out the pipe, and I think we're going to roll up and then we're going to leave it at that. So I just want to show you this. If I exit that, go to task. Can you see it? So, anyways, that's what it looks like. It's cool. Anyways, that's the office there. So, if you have any interest in the auto steer, you know who to get in contact with. There'll be links in the description down below. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that for today's video. As you see, it's dark. When it's dark, you can see feck all. On the camera, anyways. I can see lots, but the camera, no. But anyways, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. hope you enjoyed seeing the auto steer working. I'm well pleased with it so far. Be interested to see how it works later on in the year when we change it up onto different machines and how it'll how useful our and how it and see how useful it is on other machines at different times so on and whatnot but look at we're gonna leave it there. hope you enjoyed today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every thursday and sunday for the month of february see how we're fixed for march we leave it like that that's it for me good luck.